Hello, and welcome to Zanata Consulting's monthly tutorial series. Today, we'll be going over Avalara and how it integrates with Zoho, making it the best and easiest solution for your business's tax management. I'm John Oda, Director of Financial Services here at Zanata Consulting. And with me here, I have Mike Tribo, Senior Sales Executive at Avalara. How's it going, Mike? I don't think I've uh, seen you since uh, Zoholics. I know. It's been a couple months. How are you doing? It's a great day to talk about sales tax. Yeah, <laughs> I'm doing great. Yeah, we've got a good... Uh, a good webinar here for you guys. Let's go ahead and go over to the agenda and discuss what we have in store. Super excited. So on today's agenda, we're going to cover three key pieces of Avalara's tax solution. The first bit is going to be Avatax, which is essentially the heartbeat of the entire solution. Uh, what Avatax does at a high level is based on where you're selling, to whom you're selling to, and what you're selling can create a tax decision. Uh, the next piece that would be would be the exemption certificate management. Part of that tax decision is determining whether the customers that you're selling to are exempt from sales tax or not. And the last bit is once all of those decisions are made, uh, Avalara will then automatically file your sales tax returns to the proper jurisdictions. If you're interested in finding out more information, there will be a link in the description below of how you can get in contact with me and we can have a discussion about your business. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at our dashboard and see what it looks like in uh, Avalara Solution. So what is Avatax? Avatax is a sales and use tax automation system that integrates directly into Zoho. There's no on-premise installation of the system. There's no IT requirements. It truly is a cloud-based system with real-time calculations with no updates, uploads, or downtime. There's no need to have maintenance of tax schedules, of codes, rules, tax holidays, or even tracking of sales thresholds across the U.S. This robust reporting system is not available within any accounting system. And this helps and reallocate staff to revenue generating activities that the business can focus on. Essentially, what we will do is we will mitigate the risk via an automated and documented repeatable tax management policy. How about we take a look and see what it looks like within our dashboard? So as you can see, Avalara has made a tax decision based on the ship from, ship to address to provide a rooftop level accuracy of the sales tax rate based on the product we're selling. And we're asking some simple questions. Question one is going to be, hey, are we collecting sales tax here? If that answer is yes, then we move to the next taxable decision, which is, is the customer we're selling to taxable? Looks like they are. So we're going to move on to the product or the service taxability. Since all of them are yes, as you can see, based on the state, the county, the city, and either special or local district or jurisdictional taxes, we've provided a rooftop level decision and provided a tax rate. Oh, so Mike, it looks like just using a couple easy questions, you're able to really dig down into the taxability of an item. How does Avalara know what items you're selling and if they're taxable or not? Yeah, John, that's actually a great question. So as you can see here on this line, we have a tax code. This tax code is actually Avalara specific, which means that based on the product that you sell, we probably have a tax code that identifies that product. So we know the logic of taxability wherever you sell it. Actually, this brings up a great question or a great example. I have software as a service down here. So here's the item that would be seen in your inventory. And here you can see the same three questions are asked, but at the very end, we find that that product is not taxable. So therefore, no tax is calculated. So it really shows that depending on which tax code you have, will ultimately determine the taxability of your product. Is that something that Avalara determines or is that something that the customer works on? Yeah, no, that's a great question. John. So unfortunately, I'm not a CPA. I'm not a tax advisor. So I can't give that advice on which product to choose. But Avalara does have a recommendation portal that a customer can go through and pick which code best suits their business needs. So each tax code actually has a summary of what each product is described and it allows the business to make the best decision possible. So it looks like Avatax is a pretty robust solution for calculating sales tax, but how do you know you actually have to file uh, sales tax in a certain state? Yeah, John, that's actually a really good question. So back in 2018, there was South Dakota versus Wayfair. Essentially what that did was each state has a threshold that needs to be met. 
there's a term for that, and that term is called nexus. So nexus, as we know now, is a fancy word for your liability to collect or emit sales tax. On this screen, you can see a map of the U.S. where we are currently tracking the selling of a business. Right now, you're going to see anything in gray is really going to indicate either the business has no nexus liability or they're already registered in that state and collecting or emitting sales tax. But when you start getting near nexus, that's where the colors start coming in. If you can see yellow, yellow indicates you're at 80% of a state's threshold. And at which point, when that happens, Avalara will notify you via email to the users on the account. There's another color there. We love orange here at Avalara, so why not tell you when you hit 100% nexus? Once that happens, once again, you're going to get another email that notifies the users that you need to probably start collecting or emitting sales tax. Does Avalara make it easy to register there? Do they help you with that service or um, is that up to the individual users? So Avalara does have a process flow to get a customer registered for sales tax. And we actually do it right there on that home screen. So you just scroll down a little bit, you follow questions one, two, and three. And essentially the business can get registered in a multitude of states using one single simplified form. Oh, wow. So with Avalara taking care of all these very time-consuming sales tax processes, it seems like you're going to be saving a lot of time. Yeah. So with Avalara services, it really allows the staff to focus on other needs of the business. Generally, what we see is with a lot of small business that I work with are wearing multiple hats. All Avalara does is provide a service that eliminates one of those hats that the business doesn't have to be bogged down or focusing on. So why don't we go ahead and we'll take a look and see at exemption certificate management otherwise known as ECM. So what is ECM? ECM helps the business collect, manage, and renew exemption certificates in one centralized web-based location, easily accessible by any staff, role, or permission base that the user has. You can quickly collect, add certificates on the spot for immediate invoicing and payment via PDF, upload smartphone or electronic completion through our Cert Express link that can be added onto any invoice that you send out to your customers. What this does, it provides compliance confidence because missing, incomplete, or expired certificates, tax will be applied. This is going to reduce the portion of an audit from months to minutes. Why don't we go ahead and take a look and see what that is? So from here, you're going to be able to see insights to how many certificates the business should have based on how many are valid invalid, or certificates are expired. You can actually have the ability to review every customer's certificates that you have on file, but don't worry about having to go and send those out to those customers because Avalara will do that for you. With our managed exemption system is we're able to, within a 30, 60, or 90 day window, send out notifications to your customers, advising them to provide an updated certificate. Because going back to what I said earlier is if they don't update it for you, then we're gonna start charging them sales tax to ensure that you as a business is compliant. Now let's go ahead and let's talk about the managed return service. What is our managed return service? Well, it's an automated electric filing calendar for each tax authority, whether it's state, county, city, jurisdiction, you name it, we can file for you. It's a single remittance via monthly transfer of funds into an ACH account for Avalara to disperse. Liability shifts to Avalara to file and remit on time, guaranteed. There's no report running, manual calculations, completing forms, or writing checks, and you will not be missing a deadline. Why don't we go ahead and take a look and see what that looks like. So when Avalara is set up to file for you, we are going to follow a strict deadline policy, and that is within the first 10 days of the month, you're able to make any changes or do any approvals on your behalf to show that Avalara has done their job appropriately. After that, Avalara will lock the system, not allowing you to make any changes so that we can remit the funds appropriately and on time, essentially saving the business money because some states give early filing credits. So we want to make sure that you can take advantage of that to save the business even more money. And then once we file for you, at the end of the month, we're going to provide all the reporting back to you so you can always review it as a business later on that following month. Now, I'm going to show you down here what it looks like from the approval status. So whether you approve or not, Avalara is still going to remit for you because we do become the power of attorney and we're authorized at that point to file for you. That approval button is strictly for internal use. So if you have multiple users that are accessing this dashboard, that everyone sees what each person's done so there's no one overlapping others and creating redundancies in the workflow. And really from this standpoint, 
those three parts of Avalara, Avatax, ECM, and Managed Return Service, are all a streamlined process to automate sales tax so that you as a business can focus on growing the business and Avalara can manage your sales tax compliance. Hey, Mike. Managed return service makes it seem so easy, but what happens if you need to file an amended sales tax return? Yeah, John, that's actually a great question. So within our dashboard, you're actually able to submit the return that needs to be changed or corrected, and our team will actually go to bat for you, and we'll track that information for you. So in the event, if Avalar submits a return that is incorrect, you can actually submit your tax notices right here if the state ever comes back and says, hey, we need, we need you to update your information. So you just click on tax notices, submit a notice, select the discrepancy, and then we'll actually take care of it from here. We'll investigate it and we'll contact the state on your behalf to address this problem. Well, Avalara seems to make everything really convenient. Um, how could our customers conveniently get a hold of you? Yeah, John, there's a link in the description below that users can actually schedule time with me and then we can talk about their business and how Avalara can solve their sales tax needs. I think that takes us to the end here. If you want to get a hold of us here at Zanata, you can head over to zanata.com and click book on a meeting. You will be talking to someone shortly. You can also access our resource library or sign up for our newsletter. I want to thank you, Mike, for uh, coming on the show and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot, John. It was a pleasure being here.